So let me take one more example. Suppose H is uh, H is the subgroup zero bar and three bar in the group G equal to Z six with uh, respect to addition modulo six. We will now find all cosets. Okay, let us see what are all the cosets of this particular subgroup uh, in the group Z six. Okay, so let me draw a simple picture first. So I will put the subgroup in the corner so i will call this is my subgroup h which is containing what which is containing zero bar and three bar now which element is not in this subgroup the element one bar two bar three bar four bar uh, i'm sorry the ele elements one bar two bar four bar five bar are left right uh, so i will Suppose I pick up an element one bar which is not in that set. I will I, I will start making a coset out of it. So what is one bar star h? One bar star h means one bar plus h. And what is one bar plus h? I will I'm going to add one bar plus h to all the elements of um, h. So what is one bar plus zero bar? One bar plus zero bar is one bar. And what is one bar plus three bar? One bar plus three bar is four bar. So this coset. One bar star h is containing. I'm let, let me write one bar plus h. Okay, star is plus. So one bar plus h is how much? One bar and four bar. These elements will go inside this, and the set is over. So that I'm going to label here in the picture now. I'm going to call it as one bar plus h. Okay. Now which element is missing out from Z six? Z six has one bar, two bar, three bar, four bar, five bar, and zero bar. So I see that two bar is missing. So so. Let me pick what is two bar. So what is two bar plus h? So two bar plus h is uh, two bar is going to be added to all elements of uh, z of h. So it is two bar plus zero bar is two bar, and two bar plus three bar is how much? Five bar. So this set is now two bar and five bar, and the name of that set is how much? That set is two bar plus h. So you see, all elements have vanished. All elements have exhausted. So if I ask you what is four bar plus h, it is clear that four bar plus h is nothing but same as one bar plus h. You will get the same answers. So four bar plus h and one bar plus h are same. What is five bar plus h? Five bar plus h will be the same answer as what? As two bar plus h. So here, in this example, we observe that we get only three different different cosets. The three different cosets are h, one bar plus h, and Two bar plus h, so three cosets are one bar plus h. Second is two bar plus h, and third is h itself. Okay, now we have to do some important observations when we are finding these cosets. What is the very first important observation that we have observed? We have seen that all the three cosets contain different different elements, right? Means these cosets are mutually disjoint from each other. First coset, second coset have nothing common. Second coset, third coset have nothing common. First and third coset are they are completely disjoint from each other. So that is my first observation. These cosets are mutually disjoint. Okay, this is just an observation. We have to later on prove that these cosets will be disjoint from each other. What is the second observation that we have seen here? We have seen that as I go on calculating the coset, what happens? The number of elements go on exhausting. You, the the all the elements in the group slowly, slowly start exhausting. And the complete group gets partitioned into the cosets. And what happens that if I take union of all these cosets, when I take H and then one bar plus H and two bar plus H, if I take union of all these cosets, that union will come out to be the entire group, right? For example, here H, one bar plus H and two bar plus H. If I take the union of all the three sets. H is what? H is zero three. One bar plus H is one comma four. Two bar plus H is two comma five. When I take the union of all these sets, 
the union of all the sets will come up to be what will come up to be the entire group at least we are observing this at the an initial stage right the second observation is that z6 is nothing but h union 1 bar plus h union 2 bar plus h okay in my in in my in my upcoming lectures we will try to prove that if you have a group g and if you have the cosets and suppose the cosets are h the next coset is a star h the next coset is b star h and so on whatever be the number of cosets okay their union will come up to be what their union will come up to be exactly g and any two cosets if i take what will happen any two cosets will have nothing common in them they are all disjoint from each other so these are the two important observations that we have done from these two problems